All right, fellas. I met my food plot today. Uh, out turkey hunting this morning, but the turkey didn't cooperate, so I'm gonna get some soil samples before I can send them off and see what my pH is on this food plot. Uh, we're gonna do spring plots this year, uh, about the end of April, beginning of May, so uh, that'll give me time to get this sent off and get the results back to see, you know, what I need on fertilizer and lime. So uh, I just got something to dig with and just a bag just to put the dirt in. So I'm gonna go around and uh, different spots in the food plot and just uh, as you see it's growing pretty good right now you know it's, uh, I see a lot of clover and oats up right now but uh, hopefully that just keeps the weeds out until we can plow it up and put the spring plot in so I'm gonna go ahead and just get random spots and dig down probably I want to probably go about four inches and get some soil from about four inches deep just to, cause that's where, I, when I plow it up, that's probably where the uh, seeds are gonna sit. So, let's get started with that. What I'm trying to do when I'm taking these soil samples is that I'm trying to get the uh, the grass and everything out the way before so I won't incorporate that into my soil test. So I'm trying to get the bare dirt. So I'm just removing much grass as possible. Then I'm trying to dig down you know three four inches if I can get it and these stems and sticks like this uh, if I pick them up and I get them home I, I pick them out of the sample cause that'll that'll make the sample read you know higher just cause the chemical makeup of the uh, grass and stuff so, so but I like to try to get to the bottom of the hole and uh, get some of that bottom dirt because when like I said when I plow it up hopefully I'll be down you know four five to six inches so I want to see what the soil tests out at that depth and I try not to touch the actual soil because the pH in your hand could change it also you know, just the oils and the uh, off of your hand, so I try not to touch that. Okay, we'll move to the next one. See, this one got a lot of pine straw because I'm right here beside these pine trees. And this ground clumps up a lot. You see the, the clumps when it gets wet. It clump up like little little rocks, but but it's not rock, so. And this food plot has like three to four different kinds of dirt in it, so that's gonna make a difference, you know, because this dirt is it's really red compared to what's up there in the middle. The middle is kind of sandy. And it grows better up there in that sandy soil than it does back here on this back side of this food plot. Uh, it hardly ever grows any, any kind of decency back here. You know, one day I might just try to do a soil sample just in this back half. And see how different it is from the up to from the front part. This is not the best digging tool, but this is all I had. I I forgot my little little kid shovel that I normally use. 
so I think that's about it and once I get this home uh, like I said I will mix it up give me a bucket mix it up and try to break up some of these clumps you know put some gloves on and try to break up some of these clumps uh, so it'll get a you know a better sample for the people that's doing the test so but I guess that's about it yeah just to add one thing um, this food plot it holds a lot of moisture but after it dries up it locks up like cement um, if anybody got any suggestions how I could get that ground to loosen up uh, it would probably help out a lot uh, I've been thinking about trying to get a whole bunch of uh, mulch you know just uh, wood shade uh, chips that you know they just have for free somewhere and just put it all over the place and just till it into the ground to see if that helps loosen up this soil because I mean it's it just rained like two days ago and you know it's rock hard I can barely get my boot to make an addition in this ground so I, that's one of the reasons this food plot just don't you know grow knee high so I gotta do something about that and if you guys got a suggestion I sure lo love to take it so just just leave a comment and uh, you know I try to see if it worked all right I just wanted to add this to the uh, video I got my saw sample back uh, I put that saw sample in the mail on Tuesday and I got it back on that Friday so it's pretty quick I used uh, the Whitetail Institute for that saw sample and the test run around about $15 uh, and they pretty quick about getting the results back to you by email so uh, the, the saw test came back and it's a 7.4 which is over you know the recommended seven you know six five seven ph but over the years since i've had that food plot i put a lot of lime on it trying to get the uh uh the ph up because when i first started using that food plot back about five six years ago uh it was only like a 5.4 now i got it like i said 7.4 7.4 which uh everything i've been doing has worked greatly so uh, just to give you a look at my uh, soil test here uh, as you can see it's a uh, 7.4 and all my levels are are pretty good except for my potassium and that potassium is in the fertilizer so uh, if I look at the other part of the test that uh, White tells to send you they give you a uh, fertilizer uh, recommendation and I highlighted the, the uh, fertilizer that I could probably just go you know to Home Depot or something like that and pick up so they, they, they're asking for 600 600 pounds of the 10 10 10 and 200 pounds of the 0 20 20 uh, as you can see I can like I said I could go to any supply big box store and, and pick that uh, fertilizer up so that's what I would do on that and that if you see at the bottom here what it says uh, lime to apply right here it says no lime so my pH is you know it, it, it's above the levels uh, and I dug out the old soil test I had for that food plot back in uh, August of 2015 which uh, it was a 7.5 at that time and like I said last year I put probably about six bags of lime on it uh, just because you know I didn't want it to drop you know dramatically or anything like that so as you can see I my soil test comes back you know I'm, I'm consistent but I'm high so what I'm going to do this year is I'm going to concentrate on the uh, fertilizer and trying to get that soil to loosen up. So once I do that, uh, that food plot should grow, you know, 
waist high. Should be anything that I put in there, it should uh, grow pretty good. So, but uh, I just wanted to show you that, guys. Make sure you know you get your soil sample of your food plot because other than that, you're just guessing. You don't know what the pH is, what it needs, that type thing. So don't waste your money on getting the best seeds and you don't know what the pH is of your food plot. So I recommend just using you know fifteen dollars and get uh get your soil samples and that'll help you out tremendously. But like I said then again, if anybody got any suggestions on what I can do to get that soil loosen up, you know, besides you know soil conditioner which um, you know, I know about the soil conditioners, but you know, they in my area here in Georgia, you, you know, a 40 50 pound bag of soil conditioners like $15. So I'm trying to go a little cheaper route on that. So if anybody got any other suggestions, uh, please put them in the comments below. And then again, guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, I started turkey hunting here, uh, I'm working on a turkey video, which you know. I haven't got a turkey yet, but you guys might just want to see what I'm doing. So then again, guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you.